Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Rick Blackwell. 150 people are believed to be dead after a plane goes down in the French Alps. The German Wings plane was on its way from Barcelona to Dusseldorf when it apparently went down in the French Alps about 60 miles north of the city of Nice. Officials say the plane crashed in a remote area. It could take days to recover the victims. In other news today, Speaker John Boehner announces the House is going to make structural changes to Medicare for the first time in two decades. For Washington, this means the end of the, the doc fix. Uh, for seniors, it means a stronger Medicare system and better health care. And for taxpayers, it means real savings. Speaker Boehner also says the House is preparing a balanced budget, which will create more jobs and strengthen the economy. Today, the White House is vague on the details following yesterday's visit by Hillary Clinton. Former Secretary of State spent about an hour meeting with the president. The White House will only say it was a friendly meeting and they discussed a range of topics. You may remember the story of Jackie, a University of Virginia student who told Rolling Stone magazine she was gang raped at a fraternity house on campus. Police investigated the rape and now they say they don't have enough evidence to prove that it actually happened. That doesn't mean that something terrible did not happen to Jackie on the evening of September the 28th, 2012. We are just not able to gather sufficient facts to conclude what that something may have been. Police have suspended the case, but it's not closed yet. Soon after the Rolling Stone article came out, it was found to be full of discrepancies. The magazine has since apologized for its shoddy reporting. Tennessee police are searching for the driver of a white Kia Soul seen leaving the area of a deadly shooting in Clarksville. One man identified as 27-year-old Vincent Pardue is dead. Four others are injured. Police say the five men were having a cookout when someone fired shots at them. Responders say the call came at about 9 p.m. last night. Firing squads are once again legal in the United States. Utah's governor just signed a law making his state the only one in America allowing the use of firing squads in executions. They are to be used as a backup in case lethal drugs are unavailable. In Pennsylvania, a school bus plows into a home near Philadelphia. Fortunately, no one was injured when the bus carrying nine students slammed into the home. Local reports say the 58-year-old driver may have had a medical issue and blacked out right before the accident, but students on board the bus say that wasn't the case. The driver was taken to the hospital. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio is taking to the phones in hopes of solving the city's homeless problem. Mayor Bill de Blasio, as a landlord, you have an opportunity to fill vacancies. He's making robocalls to landlords, offering them straight cash offers to take in responsible homeless families. The city will float renters up to $2,500 a month. The offer comes as homeless rates continue to climb to historic highs. That's your Newsmax Now update. More news coming your way in 30 minutes.